cleanup is underway in Rolling Fork, Mississippi. As FEMA arrives in the small town ravaged beyond recognition, the Morris family lost everything. One minute it was standing, next second it was gone. Brenda and her family are now digging for belongings where their home once stood and bracing for life in limbo. The family of 11 rode out the storm at home, 10 of them now staying with Brenda's sister in a nearby town. As her nephew, eight-year-old Jeremy, recovers in the hospital after sustaining a brain injury when the house collapsed. He can't talk right now, but he's, uh, he can move his legs and his arm. He's coming along. By the grace of God, he's going to make it. Days after Friday's deadly EF4 tornado that claimed 22 lives across Mississippi and Alabama, survivors are being pointed to a patchwork of hotels and shelters. Among them, Sharnicia Larry. I'm blessed, but I just can't say that I'm okay mentally. Her home was destroyed when the tornado tore through, so she went to her mother's house where she planned to stay with her three sons. But that house burned down the next day when the generator caught fire. Now they're all at a hotel. After we pick up what we can, retrieve from the storm, they're, they're like, okay, when, when are we going home? Referring to the hotel is home. Federal officials are on the ground pushing people to sign up for disaster relief. Funds to help with everything from temporary housing to repairs. With an estimated 2,000 homes damaged statewide, assessments will take time. Attention now turning to the bare necessities like power and water out since Friday. We just don't know what our next steps are. Our whole community is gone. We have nothing to go to. We don't know what we would do next week. We just don't know. That's a sentiment many of the people I spoke with are feeling that the emergency relief options that are in place are short term. One woman told me a local official gave her a hotel voucher good through the weekend. After that, she has no idea where she'll go. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.